Hey guys, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com and uh, currently packing my bags as I'm about to embark on a rather lengthy journey to London for the, I said that funny didn't I, London, for the uh, Health Optimization Summit which is happening there this weekend. So I live in New Zealand so uh, that means I think it's something like a 30 hour trip, uh, three flights, yeah it's going to be it's going to be a big trip, one of the flights is 17 odd hours. I've done this quite a bit, um, long haul travel, you know, to Europe, uh, all over America um, and Asia as well. So uh, as a biohacker and someone who's pretty passionate about my health, I know firsthand how dangerous or harming this long haul travel is. In fact, I've got an article I'll, I'll link to below on the, on the dangers of long haul travel. But on the flip side, I have learned um, a few tr strategies and tips and tricks to implement to not only minimize the damage uh, to protect the body, uh, but also to help adjust to the, to the new time zone, uh, to help with sleep and to help sleep on planes and, and cure jet lag or get over jet lag rather quickly. So I thought I had all these things out as I was packing. I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a quick video. Real quick, I have got a few articles on jet lag and travel. I'll put those links below. Um, all the products I mentioned, I am affiliated with some of them. Uh, I use, I am affiliated with them because I use them and find benefit from them. But it does mean I get a cut if you decide to buy them. I do have discount codes for pretty much all the products I'm going to list as well. Um, so I'll put those discount codes below if you are watching this and you want to go off and buy something. So. Let's look at the performance biohacking things I'll take with me. Obviously, I'd love to take big red light panels and headsets and whatnot, but you know, space is an issue when you are traveling long haul. So, one of the one of the few performance gadgets I take is this, the Violite. This is the intranasal device. Um, I do have the Violite headset, which is, like I said, rather bulky, so I don't bother taking that with me. This is pocket size. It is a little bit, you know, weird shoving something up your nose. So I probably won't use it on the plane uh, unless I'm in business class. But um, definitely when I'm in the hotel or even at the airport waiting, um, you know, because it's only a 10, 15 minute session. One battery, press start, shines beautiful red light up your nostrils into your brain. I've got a big review on Violite and why I would use such a device on a regular basis. Um, this is helping with brain function. Uh, also helps fight like stress and uh, age related brain issues so travel is a big stress on the body and the brain so this is my little boost and uh, if I am going to be speaking or, or something like that at the event I'll bust this out before I go on stage uh, <clears throat> what else another light device is the Violite and this one of mine is actually a uh, rather beaten up uh, it's, it's being used quite extensively uh, all across the world um, the Violite, they're just releasing a new one as well, so um, check that out. I think it's got Bluetooth and stuff. I personally like the white option. Press, it's flat, I need to charge it. Anyway, you turn this on and it will shine white light into your ear. This will help with circadian rhythms. Uh, I've got an in-depth review on that and a discount code, so I'll link to that. It syncs with your app, or no it doesn't. It doesn't sync with your app. You can use the app to program in where you're traveling to, what flight, what your flight times are, etc. And it will tell you when you should use this to help adjust to the local time zone. Um, so very, very handy if you're going across multiple time, time zones. Uh, London is 11 hours behind New Zealand, so it's pretty much the complete opposite to where I am now. It's going to be, it's going to be quite s stressful, I guess. Um, so I'm going to be using this a lot. Uh, performance biohacking, I, I'm using the Alpha um, Alpha Dynamics Health Mushrooms, this is an extract powder, um, yes this is quite bulky but the great thing about it, they're all single serve, so I'm just going to take a handful of these single serve sachets, um, mix it with water, you can have it straight, it's not very tasty though, uh, Lion's Mane, Chaga and Quadriceps, so it helps with energy and also a bit of immune defense, so I just take one of these a day, sometimes I take them when I'm on the plane on those longer trips, um, what else have we got? Eternus sachets. This is a relatively new product and I will be reviewing in depth soon. Um, you can buy them in capsules, uh, but you can also get these sachets, uh, the powder mix, which um, I like for traveling. If you don't mind packing more, more uh, supplements, obviously this is handy as well. Or you can just take what you need, you know, for five days or whatever, put it in a smaller, smaller bottle and then it saves up a little bit of space. So this is a uh, anti-aging slash anti-stress formula from the Neurohacker Health 
organization, Neurohacker Collective. Um, so sure, the anti-aging benefits are great, but the anti-stress thing is what I'm looking for with this trip because, um, like I said, uh, my body's going to go through hell and back with the jet lag, travel, uh, sleeping on planes, and then the time zone shifts, and then the fact that even when I get there, it's just going to be go, go, go. I've got 72 hours in, in London, and it's going to be crazy. So there's a bunch of ingredients in here to help with um, cell energy, uh, ATP production, etc. So yeah, definitely going to be slamming them. Um, I do also use Qualia Minds. I've got another review on that. I'm not going to take that with this trip. I find that the Eternus is better for the, the stress sort of handling stress load. The Qualia Mind is more that cognitive performance. If I was going to be over there for like a, a couple of weeks or um, the time zone wasn't such a big issue, I'd probably take Qualia Mind maybe as well as the Eternus. Uh, what else do we got here? My Juve Go. So this is uh, a handheld juve light which i probably need to charge as well nope um so i'll use this i probably won't use this on the plane because i'll get some weird looks and i don't know if they'll be too happy with the red light glow but when i'm in the hotel on the other end you know i have had some issues with my dental health so i can just hit that or if, whatever you know if i want to spot treat areas handy to use um what else do we have on the performance front uh my seed daily symbiotic so um I've talked about this in my newsletters and uh, it's pretty cool. Probiotic slash prebiotic uh, two in one. And the cool thing is when you get your first subscription, you get a tiny little glass bottle like this, which is designed for, for travel. But anyway, so say just having to take the big one, I pop a few capsules in here um, just to keep my gut health in check because I'm sure my diet's going to be out. And in fact, one of the biggest things is, um, with travel is the misaligned circadian rhythm so you know i've got a pretty steady light cycle temperature cycles and eating cycle here in new zealand you know i eat at particular times i stop eating three hours before bed that's all going to be blown out which is going to it's been well known that that causes a lot of issues in your um gut microbiome so the seed is going to help with that i hope uh okay let's look at some supplements and then we'll look at sleep so supplements i take activated charcoal and this is just if I eat something funky because obviously I'm not going to be eating food from my garden and farm. Um, so if there's something that, you know, I don't think is going to be the best or I just feel a little bit unwell, I'll be taking them. Vitamin C, I'll be taking a couple of capsules of these every few hours just to keep my immune system up. Um, CoQ10 uh, with PQQ. So this is what I take for... Um, stress while on the plane to help with some of the radiation exposure plus it's just a good supplement to have as well and then glutathione this is like you know again like the vitamin c immune function it's not going to come into focus but this i'll be taking um because often i get back from trips and i get a cold sore i get a bit run down so i'm going to try to prevent that using these supplements uh all right and now let's look at sleep all right so when it comes to sleep I take a bunch of things because you'll probably know if you've seen some of my work or, or read my blog, alexfocus.com. I'm pretty passionate about sleep and I've got lots of tricks and uh, products to help me with sleep. First thing I pack is this Somni light. It's actually a um, book reading light, but to be honest, it's too big and bulky for a book reading light. It's quite heavy, but do you know what's been cool? Like we got two of these to plan on uh, using them when we're reading at night. But we ended up using them as little side lights. We just clip them onto our bed and um, you know you can adjust them rather than clipping them on, on the book because they put out a really warm orange light and there's two brightness settings plus two lights. So you can get pretty bright. It's also been good when we had our baby, um, you know, get up in the night, you can just turn this on for a nice little glow. And they're rechargeable, you get a few hours use, so every few days we just top it up. So I'll, I'll take this with me because it'll be great in the hotel, you know, chances are it'll be all bright lights and stuff. I can use this at night without getting that bright light melatonin suppressing um, hit. Speaking of melatonin, I'll be taking my Swanwick glasses. So I've actually got two glasses in here. I've got my orange lens uh, glasses which I'll use in the evening, night time, again to help with sleep. I've got a full article on this if you don't know why I'd use orange glasses. Uh, check out my article on blue light. And then I've also got their daytime glasses which have a very, very faint um, yellow 
lens. You can't, you probably won't be able to see that on the camera. But I'll use them during the day. So when I'm looking at my computer screen or if I'm watching movies on the plane, for instance, which I really do, by the way, it's kind of crazy. I did like a 36 hour trip and watch one movie. Um, I just get a lot of work done. But when I'm looking at those screens uh, or the computer, my own computer, if I can't install or if I can't protect against the blue light, obviously with an inbuilt computer screen, you can't, you can't install Flux or Iris Tech. On, on those uh, screens. So I'll use this to protect my eyes. I've got some articles on the importance of using um, computer glasses to protect the retina health, the eye retina. So that's the two glasses I'll take. What else for sleep? The two supplements I'll pack for sleep is uh, Sleep 101 from California Gold. This is, um, this is just a general purpose sort of sleep supplement. I personally don't take this anymore. I don't take any supplements for sleep anymore, apart from magnesium. But my my wife will occasionally take these if she, if she can't get to sleep. You know, maybe she's woken up with the baby and, and a bit restless. And she loves these. She swears by them. So I'll take these as my first level approach to get to sleep. And then as backup, I have Phenobit capsules, which are very potent. And I don't recommend them for everyone. Um, in fact, they're banned in some countries. But I'll take these... If I know like I need to get some sleep, maybe I've got a presentation in the morning and it's like 3 a.m. in the morning and I'm wide awake. I'll take these to knock me out, but be careful with this. Um, sleep, sleep, sleep. I'll also take these, Nasalator. Uh, I've actually got the sport ones, but they're the same as the snoring ones, I believe. Um, so these are a little device that you put up your nose. I know lots of things in the ears and nose, huh? Put up your nose and it helps expand the nostril and to help get airflow. So when you're flying at altitude on a plane, the oxygen level in the cabin is much lower than at ground level. Uh, that can lead to, you know, the dry eyes, dry nose, um, what are the, uh, the skin issues and all that sort of stuff. But it can also lead to the brain fog, the headache effect that often you get after a long haul travel. So this helps open up the nostrils and hopefully you'll get better airflow and those issues won't be a problem. I haven't used them before. I have used them at home and they're pretty cool. They, I feel like they do help. Um, so I'm looking forward to using them on the plane. Uh, I'll put links to all these products below. And and you can't really know, tell they're in there once once they're in. So people aren't going to give you funny looks. Um, speaking of sleeping and funny things on my face. This tape, I use this to uh, put over my lips and close my lips. So I'll keep my lips shut. I actually prefer the Somnifix, I think the brand is called, uh, the mouth tapes when traveling because they aren't as ugly and as weird looking as these. Um, plus they, they got a little ear vent so if you need to get out, you know, open it up real quickly, you can. Um, but I'm out of them at the moment and my order hasn't arrived in time, which is a shame. So I have to go back to using this tape, which um, I'm sure is going to get me some weird looks, but I've used it before when flying and it helps big time uh, especially with dry mouth and that and you just because if you can't lie flat you know your mouth might open honestly this helps i swear by it uh what else equanimity this is another supplement uh, i won't take these big boxes you can they are tiny little capsules there's like seven capsules in this whole box it's actually a little bit ridiculous but these are um rishi spore oil uh organic and very good for helping relaxation and to lower stress so some people say they're an alternative to CBD oil. I recommend and use CBD oil when I'm traveling. Unfortunately, in New Zealand, you can't get CBD oil. So um, I don't bother with it unless I'm going to be in the States for a while and I'll use it over there, for instance. But I've got these on hand instead. So I'll take these uh, when traveling from New Zealand to help with sleep. Um, an eye mask. This is the Silk Eye Mask from Swanwick Sleep. I think I got a discount code for these guys. Um, I'll put links to all this below. So very important, especially if you're sleeping on a plane and it's bright or um, you know in a hotel, you're trying to sleep during the middle, middle of the day and they don't have blackout curtains. So I highly recommend that. And then my own pillow. I always travel with my own pillow. In fact, I'm scared I'm gonna leave this pillow somewhere because I take it everywhere with me. Uh, so this is from Samina, it is cotton and sheep's wool. That's all it is and it's all organic. Um, They've got amazing, I've got the Samina bed and it's amazing, I'm going to get one for my son as well. Um, I've got a review on the Samina bed and the, the quality and care that goes into their products. So this pillow is one of the healthiest pillows you can get. But for me, it's I love it because it's super thin, you probably won't be able to see how thin it is in here, on here. But I love super thin pillows and it's very, very hard to find super thin pillows. I like It's a game changer for me in my sleep. Um, and the good thing about it being so sl uh, so thin, slim, thin, is you can fold it up, you know, it's not going to take up too much space. 
Um, so yeah, definitely love traveling with my own pillow. And then the last thing I'll take, which isn't a biohack or anything like that, well, it is in a little bit, but it's not a performance biohack and it's not gonna help with my sleep, is my aura ring and the charger. So I'll use that to see how messed up my body is and um, how messed up my sleep may be which I hope it's not too bad. But yeah, anyway, uh, that's what I'm going to be taking on this big trip. Um, if you are going to be doing a big trip yourself, hopefully you got some ideas. If there's something you want to know more about, like, hey, why are you taking that? Or why are you taking this instead of that? Um, <clears throat> check all the links below because I'll link to a lot of articles that explain why I use these things and how they work and whatnot. But otherwise, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you want to buy any of this stuff, remember, I'll probably get a cut. Uh, if you're buying through my links, but I might have some discount codes below as well. And if you're gonna be in London, I don't know when this video will go live, but if it goes live before or during the event and you're gonna be in London, reach out, it'd be great to catch up. Otherwise, head over to alexfergus.com, sign up to my blog, give me a like if you enjoyed this. Uh, if you are traveling, I've got some articles on travel health and jet lag over at alexfergus.com, so go check them out. Peace.